So that's how easy it is, guys, to go vegan. Two simple steps. Welcome back to another video. So we've had a heap of new subscribers come to the channel, which is fantastic. And we thought this is a great time to make a new video explaining how to go vegan. So let's start with the definition of veganism, a philosophy and way of living which seeks to exclude, as far as is possible and practicable, all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing or any other purpose. So what does that mean? It means that veganism is not just a diet. When somebody only eats a plant-based diet, they are eating a plant-based diet. They're not necessarily vegan because veganism, as we've just heard, includes a whole host of other things. So in terms of food, that means no meat, no fish, nothing that comes out of an animal's body like eggs or any form of dairy or honey. In terms of clothing, it means not wearing any leather, wool, silk, fur or down. It also means not purchasing products that have been tested on animals or contain animal ingredients. And that includes all your toiletries and cosmetics, your personal uh, products. And your household cleaning products. It also includes not supporting industries that exploit animals for entertainment, such as zoos, rodeos, marine parks, uh, tourism activities like horse riding, donkey riding, elephant riding, camel riding. Mm, or circuses. In terms of pets or companion animals, Please don't support animal breeding farms like puppy mills. It's important to adopt from a shelter and save a life rather than buy from a pet store. So you can see that veganism is quite a broad topic and the more you look into it, you'll realise that animals are used, abused and exploited in all kinds of ways. And although this may seem overwhelming, don't panic. Because 98% of the cruelty towards animals is towards food animals. So just by changing your diet initially is a great first step and then you can worry about all of those other things later on. Don't not do anything just because you can't do everything. So in short, veganism is simply a stance against violence towards animals. You're simply putting up your hand and saying, I will no longer pay to support this. So how do you actually go vegan? Step one is education. This is so important. We recommend watching these three videos in this particular order. Forks over knives for the health aspect, Cowspiracy for the environmental aspect, and Earthlings for the ethical aspect. And then after that, there are many other videos and documentaries that you can watch that will broaden your understanding of veganism. All the links for everything we're talking about and showing on the screen right now are linked down below in the description box. So please go and work through this list it is going to make your transition to veganism so much easier and it's going to help you stay vegan for life. Without the education, you don't really know why you're doing this and it's important to understand all of the aspects of what going vegan means. And we'd also like to recommend that you check out these three YouTube channels. The Vegan Activist for complete guides to vegan eating, clothing and cosmetics. Bite Size Vegan, who is like a vegan encyclopedia. For example, videos on, is palm oil vegan? What about sugar? What about condoms? What about tampons? What about horseback riding? Any question you have, she's covered it. And the third YouTube channel is Nutrition Facts by Dr. Michael Greger. So any questions or concerns you may have about nutrition or health, it's most likely he's got a video on it and his website is also a fantastic resource. Again, everything we're saying is linked down below. Step two, once you've got the education, is to throw out all animal foods. And don't think, oh, I'll be wasting it if I throw it out. You need to stop looking at it as food when in actual fact it's violence and it's disease forming. And so you just want to get that out and never be tempted to eat it again. And once you've got all of those animal products out of your kitchen, out of the cupboards, out of the fridge, it's then time to go shopping and replace those foods with wonderful, wholesome plant foods like rice and pasta and potatoes and fruits and vegetables and beans and lentils. The list goes on. There are as many ways to eat vegan as there are to eat non-vegan. So you can eat a super healthy vegan diet or you can eat a junk food vegan diet or anywhere in between. What's important to note is that all of the animal foods that you currently enjoy, there are vegan alternatives for all of them. So meat and dairy and eggs. So you can use those as transitional foods if you need to. Basically, eat whatever kind of vegan diet that you enjoy, 
that is sustainable for you and that is going to keep you vegan for life. And even if you start off using the plant-based alternatives to all of the things Luca mentioned, you might, after a little while, decide to go to a more healthier vegan version of the diet. That's totally fine to change. Personally, we like to feel our best and so we focus a lot on health and fitness, which is why we live a high carb, low fat vegan lifestyle. We've detailed that lifestyle in the video which we'll link here and basically this is the way of eating that the plant-based doctors recommend based on science. And it's predominantly based around whole plant foods. But some meal examples. For breakfast you could have cereal with a plant-based milk, you could have uh, oatmeal with fruit, you could have a big fruit smoothie or whole fruit, uh, you can have toast with avocado and tomato or a spread of jam or peanut butter, you could have scrambled tofu and toast which is the equivalent of scrambled eggs. These are just some examples. For lunch you could enjoy sandwiches, wraps, burritos, burrito bowls, vegan sushi, rice salad, potato salad, pasta salad. Sounds pretty good. Dinner time. Potatoes, baked potatoes with various toppings, pasta, curries, soups, stir fries, noodles. The list goes on and on. So that's how easy it is guys to go vegan. Two simple steps. Number one, get the education. Number two, get all of those animal foods out of your house and replace them with vegan food. Now we'd like to offer you some tips which will hopefully make your transition easier. Perhaps the first thing you might want to do is to continue to make the dishes that you love and know how to make and simply replace the animal foods part of them with plant-based alternatives. So for example, let's say you're having spaghetti bolognese. So you take out the mincemeat and you could replace it with a plant-based mincemeat alternative or you could even replicate that texture with mushrooms or quinoa or lentils for example. We recommend you check out the following resources for great vegan meal recipe ideas. The Vegan Corner, Forks Over Knives and Dr. John McDougall's website. It's very important that you always have some kind of food in the house. A big mistake a lot of people make is they don't replenish the cupboards and they get home from work, it's late, there's nothing in the fridge, they're starving and they just don't know what to do. They panic and they just go and order a, a pepperoni pizza or go out for a burger and, you know, you need to have foods in the house that you can go to all the time. So bags of rice, a sack of potatoes, uh, some cans of beans and lentils, uh, some bottles of tomato sauce and pasta, they're things that are going to keep for a very long time and you can quickly throw together a meal. You'll always have something to eat at home. Super, super important. Perhaps the number one reason why people who try a vegan diet don't stick with it is because they simply don't eat enough calories. Plant foods are lower in calories per volume of food than animal foods. So you need to get used to sitting down to a larger volume of food than you currently do to make sure you're getting the same number of calories as you were getting before for your energy requirements. And even if that means that you can't sit down to such a big mountain of food in one sitting, that's okay. You can break those meals up. So instead of having three square meals of a large portion, maybe you want to have four, five or even six smaller meals throughout the day. So long as you're getting enough calories at, during the course of the day, you will feel satiated and you will get all the vitamins and minerals and everything that you need. You'll feel fantastic, you'll have the energy and you will want to stay vegan forever. Another reason a lot of people fail with a vegan diet is because they think they have to eat a 100% raw vegan diet that includes just fruit, raw vegetables and salad. For most people that's going to get really old really fast. So enjoy as much raw food as you care for in a broader vegan diet that includes cooked food. It's definitely a lot more sustainable to have as much cooked food as you want and you don't need to adopt this purest, really healthy mindset of vegan equals raw. That is going to lead you down a very short vegan path. So a lot of people have questions about, will I get all of my vitamins and minerals and nutrients on a vegan diet? 100% yes you will. Again, we refer you to nutritionfacts.org by Dr. Michael Greger, who can answer all of those questions for you. The only thing we recommend taking is a B12 supplement. And that's not only for vegans, that's for everybody. No matter what kind of diet you eat, we should all be supplementing with B12. And this is because B12 is not found in any food source, but rather it's produced by bacterium in the soil. And getting your B12 is as simple as taking a daily or a weekly tablet, and we'll link some information down below. 
As we said earlier, veganism is not a diet, it's a lifestyle. But if you're feeling overwhelmed, start with the food and then you can work on the other areas. What's important, however, is to not buy any new products containing animal ingredients or tested on animals. And if you think that you might need some support along your vegan journey, no problem. Social media is a wonderful place for this. We recommend uh, following people on Instagram and subscribing to vegan YouTube channels and watch as much as you can and leave your comments and questions below the videos. You'll find that vegans will jump in and help out, answer any questions, so you can learn a lot just through social media. That's it guys, it's that simple. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And remember until next time, going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Saying goodbye to eggs for good. No more. Whoa, we are so thrilled with this news. Thank you so much, Carly, for being open to the 